Hi guys, welcome back to Gypsy's Herbs. I'm gonna be going over what we have in the front yard. This is permaculture inspired gardening, organic gardening, um, creating a food forest. So the front yard, we're keeping it pretty simple. Mostly everything up here is just to attract pollinators. I have two fruit trees and two barrels of herbs. And then everything else is just gonna be beautiful, easy maintenance flowering. And I'm just gonna give you some tips on when you're starting your permaculture food forest. First tip is about aphids and controlling aphids. And the second tip is in regards to composting, fertilizing, mulching, and weeding all in one. It's one tip that encompasses all of those things and just making gardening really easy. So let me show you. We have the white sage that the aphids are just loving. See that guy there? Yeah, they're all over. So I've sprayed this guy twice in about a week's time. It's been about five days since the last spray. I'm just gonna spray them with the hose and I'm really, I could like permanently get them off and not have to do this, but um, if I use neem or something, it's gonna discourage the natural predators to lay their eggs here. And I'm really hoping that I see ladybugs and praying mantis soon. So I'm just gonna keep spraying them with water until I can get my hands on some beneficial insects. Something else that's really important also is live mulch. When your weeds come up, don't be afraid to place them back on your plants. They're gonna decompose and provide so much nutrients to your plants, but I like to wait until after my seedlings have sprouted up out of the ground so that I don't stunt any of their growth or prevent them from growing. I don't wanna like block out their sunlight. But as soon as they come up and I find out exactly where that plant is gonna be, I start mulching around it right away. But we don't, we don't wanna throw that stuff out. We need to give that stuff back to the earth. So, and then that way you don't have to use compost on top if you're constantly using live mulch. Putting your weeds on top of your plants is gonna save you from having to weed in the long run because it's mulch. So it's gonna help snuff out all those new weeds that are trying to grow in. It constantly gives your plants nutrition. As it decomposes, it's composting. It's like putting compost on your plants. So it's gonna save you from having to buy compost and from having to buy fertilizer later. I'm gonna give you a tour of what this garden entails. I just want to remind you that it is still winter here, so there's not a whole lot blooming, but this is a pretty good start. And in the spring, there's going to be a lot to talk about. Get the prep work in now while it's still easy.
Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow my Instagram if you want to see the garden growing in real time at Gypsies Healing Herbs, and I'll see you guys on the next video.